This is WCIA 3 News at 6. We will be making sure that there is compliance. Champaign's mayor and the Champaign-Urbana Public Health District are taking steps to make sure this holiday weekend is a safe one. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Mayor Deb Finan signed an executive order that strengthens enforcement of Phase 4 guidelines for bars and restaurants, specifically in Campus Town. WCI 3's Andy Olson is live in our newsroom. So Andy, why was this put into effect now? Jessica, health officials have said Independence Day weekend will be an important one for people to continue with precautions that have gotten the state to phase four. There were some recent complaints of some campus town bars breaking guidelines. The city wanted to make sure they weren't doing it this weekend. Campus town bars are being watched more closely after photos surfaced showing them packed last weekend. The executive order signed by Champaign Mayor Deb Finan says bars operating at an outdoor and indoor capacity of 200 people or more may be subject to fines or worse. This provides a tool then to be able to temporarily suspend the license or to shut the bar down um, and empty the place out if we need to do that. Um, and so that's really, it's making sure that we have the tools as we work with them on compliance. The Champaign-Urbana Public Health District worked with the city on the executive order. Deputy Administrator Awais Vade says they've seen a jump in cases during phase four. The troubling fact is that a lot of the cases that we are seeing now uh, are the younger individuals, you know, people in their teens, 20s, and 30s. Health officials are worried about precautions going by the wayside for the holiday weekend, but the city has pinpointed another event that could be at risk of spreading the virus. Mayor Finan says they were told about a Greek reunion at the U of I that's supposed to happen next week, and the new order helps them try and prevent that from getting out of control. And the university has strongly asked students to stay home and not come for that, but making it clear that this really isn't a place that is going to be welcoming um, for that kind of risk taking. The executive order still needs to be approved by city council. Murfine and hopes they will retroactively do so at Tuesday's meeting. They will be monitoring campus town in the meantime. Employees of public health as well as city officials will be monitoring these establishments very closely, um, including going in person over there to, to monitor them as well. And, and if we see that they are not following those guidelines, then, then they will be, you know, uh, there will be consequences. Also under the order, only people 21 and over are allowed in the bars after 9 p.m. It's one of the other ways they're trying to prevent the spread. People under 21 are still allowed in the bars before that. Mayor Finan says that's because they didn't want to hurt the bars who rely on food sales. Live in the newsroom, Andy Olson, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Andy, thank you. The governor's office is also reminding people to take precautions this weekend. In a letter, the Liquor Control Commission warned businesses about possible closures if they don't follow guidelines. They want people to continue wearing masks and keeping their distance. Across